just wanna hear it sound like My name is Jim Hurdle. I'm an MC producer um, from Hawaii, uh, originally raised in uh, Texas, um, but I've been back on the islands about 10 years now. Doing music out in the hip hop scene, um, building with the crew, and um, just trying to do what we can, man. I was actually for a, a MC for a long while. Uh, I started back in like high school and stuff. Um, just in ciphers and stuff, um, where we grew up, the high school that I went to and stuff. Um, it was a real big hip hop culture. It really made me a, a great MC. And when I came out here and I started building as an MC, I really didn't know any producers or anybody out here, man. And um, I basically took it upon myself to start making my own beats. I think being an MC first, it made me a better producer because um, I was able to cater to what MCs liked, you know, and kind of be able to build off of that sound and stuff. So I felt it gave me a one-up as far as other producers and beat makers might be able to bring to the table. I'm inspired by a lot, man. Um, especially lately, I've been dipping a lot into um, like indie sounds, um, indie uh, pop artists from like UK and stuff like that. Um, I like a lot of different sounds, um, a lot of quirky things, man. I like to step outside of the box as, as much as I can. I mean, um, especially when it comes to like sampling and stuff like that. I mean, soul and jazz and oldies have been done so much already that I feel it's just um, a time to kind of step outside, push the boundaries. Like now, it's the next chance to step up and see what we can do. Um, Producer-wise. Um, Probably like Swiss Beats, um, Timbaland, Kanye, like I really love their sounds. Um, they've definitely made a stamp with their sound, um, which is something I think every producer, beat maker would want to do with their career or with their craft. Um, to kind of just be able to put music out there and for people to like hear that and be like, that's a Jim Hurdle sound, you know, or that's a Swiss Beats sound or that's a Timbaland sound. I think. That is something that I strive to shoot for all the time. So definitely producers and artists like that. Most people that hear my beats and stuff, they always um, recognize my drums and stuff first. Um, yeah, ideally, that's probably the first things I tend to attack first. Um, I like big, crunchy, thick, heavy sounds. Big kicks, big snares, big sound. Um, that's usually what my sound kind of pertains to. Um, I usually start off with that, um, kind of go into the melodies, or I tend to switch it up often. Um, I always tell other producers or other artists that I work with, uh, never get stuck in a rut, try flipping it up here and there. Man, I probably started off like most other people with like a little tape recorder, karaoke machine kind of thing, and uh, looping things. Um, eventually started a uh, getting like a computer and stuff and I basically did the whole Diddy Kanye thing where it was just samples, drum loops, build. And until then I started uh, getting into um, midis, um, plugins, um, stuff like that. I use um, Sony Acid um, for my keys. I use my HCM61 keys. Um, I still keep my old uh, Yamaha and everything just I guess for, for keepsakes, uh, that was probably my first keyboard that I built off of and stuff, so rather than just dishing it out, I kind of just keep it around just for memories and stuff like that. Beat Root, man, um, it was actually a stuff we, we used to hear about those things uh, back growing up in Texas and stuff like that, and when I actually came out here and I was really trying to get into the scene and get familiar with um, everybody out here making noise and doing what they can, um, me and my mentor Decon, we actually went to a, a couple of beat booths that um, they had hosted and put on out here, and um, we were blown away by some of the talent that we got out here in Hawaii and stuff, man. And uh, it pushed us, um, myself especially, um, to kind of get out there. And um, I'm really not a, a battle producer, so to say. I, I really don't make beats um, really with that intent. 
but it was a nice opportunity for me to be able to get out there, put my beats out there, and to kind of gauge, you know, um, what I guess the mass public or general people out there in your scene would think. So it's definitely a great opportunity for uh, beat makers and producers to get into beat moves and stuff and display the art. Big shout out to the team, it's the Block Man, 24 Block, uh, Flip the Bird. Uh, shout out to the General Top Show, my brother Supri, Grip, K Love, my brother Germ, uh, the whole team, man, TNR, LVL, uh, all the boys out here, man, um, everybody out here moving, man, Workhouse, all the teams, man, Angry Locals, everybody out here, man, we keep moving, Grip Squad, two small black. What up, y'all? It's Jim Hurdle, man. Um, better see y'all all down there June 8th, man, at the Beat Group Grand Championship. It's going down at next door. It's going to be crazy. It's going to get live. I hope everybody bringing the A game because I know I am.